Hi, I'm Julie Maria about Los Angeles, and I'm here at a local church in Mission Hills where the youth group will be going hungry today in an effort that others may be fed. These 11,000 pink and blue links represent the number of children under the age of five who die every night. Not being able to eat at night, not being able to have the food that you need to basically carry on every day. Like, most people don't get that. I have food every single day, like three times a day, and other people, like, don't even eat, like, any day. And it just, it makes me think about it. If I go hungry for one day and raise money for children that don't choose when they go hungry, I feel like that's very important. I feel like that's more important than me eating for an entire day. 16 teenagers ages 12 to 18 and 6 adults began at the crack of dawn on May 5, 2012. Their mission? To end world hunger. With an entire day's agenda, there was no time to think about their own hunger. From hosting a two-hour car wash to playing survival games like Phonic Frenzy, a combination of mind and body skills as kids raced up to the front with the correct answer. Being a really strong leader when the kids were feeling weak, because we, the leaders were all feeling really weak and tired and grouchy, and, and so it was hard to stay focused on what's coming next and to keep going through the process. We all wanted to sleep, we wanted to lie down, but I knew that we had to hit all of those elements for it to have the greatest impact on them. Throughout the day, the youth made two trips to two very different places in the San Fernando Valley, including Mend, the largest food pantry on the West Coast. So, you know, volunteering can be this really sort of wonderful, unifying thing. And I think it's great that, you know, that so many people are, you know, so many young people are involved in that. <laughs> I think it's really encouraging. Mm -hmm. And the youth had the opportunity to get to know a former homeless person who has overcome living on the streets, but is humble enough not to forget about where he came from. God forbid anything that happens to any of you, kids, adults, anybody, if you are, you got to have some form of self-defense. Am I right? Because literally, they are going to get you. And so I made this homeless whip to whip off the crackhead. This is my old one. I had this at Skid Row. It's a car antenna. And just whipping that around would scare them so much they would run. The final activity was to construct shelters using things like cardboard and duct tape. The day of famine ended with the youth partaking of the Sunday ritual communion at 10.30 a.m. I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles.